In this video, I'm mostly going to be using clips from Isha Foundation videos because what to do? Filming inside the ashram is not allowed. Anyway, welcome to a day in my life at Isha Yoga Center. 29th birthday edition! Hi, this is Shoto and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, my birthday was on 7th October. Here in the ashram, we wake up at 5 a.m. We start our day with some disgusting <laughs> neem and turmeric balls and then Guru Puja and Om Namah Shiva chanting. And let me tell you, don't misunderstand Guru Puja as we are worshipping Sadhguru. Guru Puja is always there in the Guru Shishya Parampara culture in our country. Even at Sri Sri Ravi Shankar's place, they do Guru Puja. So it's a general thing and it's such a positive way to start your day. So after that, I return back to my dorm, take a shower and go to Surakund Mandapam and do my sadhana. So as it's my birthday and I had plans outside, so I went to the office at 8, finished some work and what I did for my birthday is I bought a sari from Devi Temple. And the sari was packed like this with a turmeric tied with it. As it is lockdown, so I wasn't able to go outside and get a matching blouse for myself. So what I did is I bought a short kurta from Save the Weave collection in Isha and I hand stitched it into a blouse. Studying fashion comes really handy. So around 9.30 I went to Chandragund. I don't go to Chandragund every day but it was my birthday and I wanted to take a dip there and it was so special that time Chandragund was completely empty I was the only one at the pool and I felt like oh yeah I'm so special it's my private pool <laughs> but yeah jokes apart it was such a nice experience so after taking a dip I wore the sari a friend of mine helped me to wear it properly because yeah without any mirror I don't know how to wear it properly then I went to Devi temple there I tied the turmeric thread onto the trishul that is there in the temple anyway almost every day I go to temple at least once before going for brunch but today at around 11 it was a treat time at pepper wine also on my birthday I pre-ordered ice cream and I gave ice cream to everyone in my office it was like almost seven carton of ice cream it was like that many ice creams and everyone was so happy and shocked seeing me in sari for the first time i got a lot of compliments many people said i look cute some said i look mature also i got to hear what is going on kids fancy dress party or something i said whatever i'm feeling fantastic let me enjoy my time then yeah after the treat back to work and my friends bought me a cake written my libra who because this is like my tagline i keep on saying my libra who i'm a libra wherever i go there's like guys all around me and like everyone floods with me and all. okay so, uh, so we cut the cake inside the office also let me tell you one interesting fact the founder of the famous fashion brand satya paul he's here he's like almost 80 years old now he built up the brand when the concept of fashion literally did not exist in India. And he was the teacher of Sabi Sachi. He is also one of the very fortunate people who has been with Jiddu Krishnamurti, Osho and now with Sadhguru in person. Can you imagine? Such a successful designer has left his luxurious life and staying here in the ashram like a normal simple person. Like how fantastic is that? So I wanted to meet him on my birthday and get his blessings as I'm from design background too. So end of the day, I messaged him. Can I join you on your evening walk? And he said, yeah, yeah, come over. It was such a nice experience. So around 6.30, I was feeling all sweaty because I was wearing sari all day. So before changing that, I asked my friends to come quickly and let's take a group picture before security guard comes after us and that's the picture not everyone is here but yeah that's my circle so here in the ashram we eat only twice 10 it's brunch 7 it's the dinner and around 2 we just have a juice break and the food served here is like full positive branding without onion garlic or green chili can you imagine well for a non-vegetarian it may sound like tasteless but trust me the food is so 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 tasty here especially for bengalis they don't know how to cook veg properly that's the reason we all eat on the floor and wash our dishes after eating then again after dinner i went back to office and finished some work and mostly I end my day by going to Dhanalinga. So Dhanalinga is open for us till 10. 
and it's such a magical place it happened to me many time that i'm just sitting there and i'm thinking it might be like 10 to 15 minutes but i end up spending there more than 30 minutes it's that magical and yeah sometimes i go to adi yogi statue also but i don't know why i did not go there on my birthday yeah strange but usually i like to go there a lot so yeah that was the day in my life at isha yoga center let me know if you like this video or not give it a thumbs up or thumbs down whatever you like and please do subscribe if you haven't yet you can also follow me on my instagram link is in the description that's it bye